Hi everybody, it's Deb from d, d Art Gallery. Today I have a small 10 by 10 canvas that I've prepared on the back with push pins and tape. And I'm going to do a cloud pour. This is only the second cloud pour I've ever attempted. And so I'll go through my paints first. My white, I have mixed uh, half Milk Paint by Folk Art and half Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. And this is Delta Cream Coat Sheer Metallic Copper. And also for the copper, I had purchased some mica powder pigments earlier and I had some copper. So I've put a little shake of the copper mica powder in with my copper paint. My next color is the Grumbacher Payne's Gray. Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. Li Liquitech Basic Alzerin Crimson Hue. And lastly, Artist Loft Metallic Leaf Green. And what I'm going to do is just a simple dirty pour with these paints. And the cloud effect is achieved with the, the milk paint. And all my paints today have been mixed pretty much one, per, one uh, part paint, one part Floetrol, and a squirt of GAC 800 in all of them. So let's get started. I'll put a small layer of the white on the bottom. And let's start with the blue. Actually, I'm going to pour it all in. I've seen many cloud pours done. Julie Cuts from Pouring Your Heart Out does a lot of them, as does Heather Mater from Heather Mater Art. I haven't added any silicone in these paints today. Let's try the green next. And they were, all my paints were thinned with my mixture of 90% water and 10% Floetrol to get it to the consistency I wanted. And since I didn't show it to you back at the beginning, I'll show you now. This is the consistency. Just a little mound. Next, let's put in the Payne's Gray. I'll have plenty of paint for this painting. Crimson Hue next. And lastly, we'll put in the copper. Like I said, I'm just going to uh, do a dirty pour on this. Okay, I think I'll just lift the cup up, see what we have. I do have a lot of little cells here in the blue. Not much of the white is showing at this time, but we'll see. I'll have to pour a lot of the paint off.
as you can see I have a lot of really big cells up here there's a lot of lacing going on in the cobalt blue and the white there Here's some of the green that came out here. Up here I have the copper. I'm going to pour off a little more down here. And look at my corners here. And you can kind of see this cloudy effect. This is what the white paint, the milk paint does. I'm even going to tip a little more. There's a lot of little cells trying to come through. Okay, I'm going to take a look at it here just a minute and see if I like this composition. I do see something in here that doesn't belong. Gonna tip a little more. And then back again. Trying to move some of that copper and the crimson hue down a little bit. Okay, and now I'm going to torch to see what we can bring up. Let it sit here a minute. Clean off the bottom. little crimson cells that are surfacing are 
really cute. There's a lot of little cells that have come up here too. Real, real teeny cells. This area is really pretty with that copper in it. And I'm going to torch again. The closer you get with your torch, the more cells you're going to bring up. As you can see, wherever I touch it closer. Bring up many, many more cells. Those copper cells. Okay, a lot, a lot of cells coming up now. From the Floetrol, I did not add any silicone to these paints, so I'm thinking it's the Floetrol that's done this. Cells in this area are really, really nice. All that copper. Okay, I'll bring you down for a close-up, see what you think. Stretch out at the top here on the left. And you can just see all these, these little copper cells here. Here's the big copper and crimson area. So pretty. And we'll go up here. Here's some of those little, little copper cells again. So pretty right in there. That's where I like it. Those little cells. And here is the top right. And as this painting sits for a while, I'm sure more cells will come up or some of them may even get larger. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, share, and ring the bell so you know the next time that I post a new video. Until next time, take care everybody. Bye.